Hello, this video is about installing your LFMTE script for the first time. The first thing you'll do after you download it, you'll click here to download the latest version. You'll want to register your domain. So you'll click licenses and come here and type in the domain name. Add domain and it will give you a license key that we'll use here in a few minutes. Then you'll need to log into the cPanel of that domain. Scroll down to my SQL database wizard. Click that and you'll give the new database a name. Doesn't matter what it is. You'll want to save this because you'll need this in your installation. And I usually name the database and the username the same thing so I don't have any, so I don't get confused. I confuse easily. Then this password, we want to copy that. We'll use it here and we'll paste it here so we can use it later. Then create user. Give the user all privileges. Click next step. And that has been done. Then we go to the installation. It's in a zip file so you'll need to extract it. Then double click on the LFMTE installer.exe. Click next. And this is where you put your FTP information. Um, it's usually the same as your cPanel. So we'll, except for this, is FTP dot your domain name. Then you'll have your S FTP username and your password. Then click this browse button so it can identify the server and it will, you'll see. You want it to go into public HTML, click OK, and then click Next. Click Yes. Installation location URL, make sure that your domain name shows up here. If it doesn't, there's a problem. You may have to run the installation again, um, but it should show up here. And then click Next. And then you'll click Install. Once you click Install, the amount of time it takes will depend on your internet connection, of course but you'll let it run until it's finished. And I will pause this until we're done. And I'm back. We have about 30 seconds left. And you can see that it takes about five minutes, a little less. And when this finishes,
you'll click finish and it will open a web page. The first thing you need to do here is put your key in that you generated when you registered your domain name. So we'll put that there and click continue and it was verified. Now the database name, username, and password that we had earlier that we saved will go here. Oops. Oops. And click Next. I have three check marks. That's great. And then click Next. And choose your admin username and password. So I'm going to choose Sunny and a password. Don't use the word password but since you could see it, that's all I put in there. Then you need to run cron jobs, which is an automatic process that your server will do to make sure that your script runs correctly every day. You'll go and do cPanel. And here we're still on the database page. Click Home. Come down to the bottom and you should see cron jobs or you can in this find box type in the word cron, C-R-O-N and click that. Now this is easier than it looks. So every night at midnight, so that's once per day, once a day midnight. It fills it all in for you automatically. Copy this. Paste it there. Add new cron job. And we're going to do this with all of those. This one runs every 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and copy it. This says every five minutes, so we're going to change this to ten. We can do that right there. In the new command, add new cron job. This one also runs every ten minutes. Do every five minutes, then come here and change that to 10. Add new cron job. And this one runs every 60 minutes or every hour. Copy that. Once an hour, add new cron job. So this is what it should look like when you're finished. Then, we want to delete this file. So, in your cPanel, go to the very bottom, click Home, go to File Manager, and in Admin, find the install.php, right-click, and delete. And that's done. We'll click this link for our administration page and my username and password. Log in. And there we go. If you have any questions, please contact us at support and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks. Bye.